So here we go. Our first incredible creature is none other than the lowly mussel. Not this kind, but this kind. <sighs> these mussels live in quiet rivers and streams all over. And while these little guys don't look like much, they have an amazing skill to survive. You see, in order for these little guys to reach adulthood, they have to spend part of their lives, almost six weeks, in the mouth of a host fish, like a bass or a trout. And you thought you had problems growing up. How do they do that? <laughs> Here's Dr. Martin to explain. It's called the Lampsilus muscle, and it mimics different minnows or, or shiners or little tiny fish and there's a reason for that. So here you have this little mussel and it closes up almost all the way and then it pushes its soft tissue out and in the soft tissue is a it looks like a little minnow and now some of these are specific to a particular fish. They have to have a particular fish come down to eat that particular minnow. And so there is one that uh, is, it mimics a little minnow that will attract a bass, like a largemouth bass. And so it's down here and it'll give jerky little motions and that seems to attract the bass. And the bass will come down, he'll look at that and he'll think, uh huh, that looks like a good lunch. And he'll go and open his mouth to grab that bait that, the, that this little muscle has produced. And the split second that he opens his mouth to grab the bait, the muscle opens up and shoots its larvae and eggs up into the mouth of the of the fish, in this case the bass, and those little things from the muscle will attach to the gills in the bass. And that's where they live as a parasite. Or maybe it's a symbiotic relationship, but they drink the blood from the fish, from the gills, until they get big enough to drop off and then they grow. Well now here's some questions. How does a little muscle, like a little clam-like thing, how does it mimic a particular kind of motion, like some type of jerky motion? Uh, some of them, it looks like they're gulping air. They have a little mouth that looks like it's gulping air. Others have a different artwork on the body, a different painting, so to speak, so that they mimic a particular type of a little fish. How would evolution explain that? They have to know the right fish to shoot their larva or their eggs up in there. And so, how do they know what's the right fish? If it has to be, let's say, a largemouth bass, then that is the fish that this little muscle has to find. You don't think of a little thing like that having a very instant uh, action like it needs because when that fish opens its mouth, and we know how fast a fish will take the bait. When a fish goes to take the bait, it's like, oh, just a quick little thing and it's got it. Well, the very split second that that thing opens its mouth, that other fish whoosh, the muscle sh opens and shoots. So the timing is crucial. It has to have its timing worked out. But you don't think of something like that, of having that kind of an instant reflex. I mean, you think of a clam or something down on the bottom of a stream, and it's just kind of there, kind of opens and closes a little bit. And, but this is amazing. So let's think about this in terms of evolution for just a minute. First of all, how would it evolve exactly the right little minnow type thing here? How would that happen? And then if somehow it did, how would it know what to do with it? How does evolution explain that? What would be an evolutionary explanation for that kind of a thing? I, 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 I can't imagine. I can't imagine how just mindless random chance processes is going to come up with such an amazing harmony and uh, unity here that we need because if it doesn't work, if this little muscle doesn't shoot its larvae, let's say, up into this fish to attach to the gills, it goes extinct. So it has to have happened for the very first one, the very first one, because that is their reproductive mechanism. And if it didn't happen with the first one, with the right fish at the right time, with the right reflex, and all of that happening all together, it goes extinct. I don't see how evolution can explain that.
Wow, the lamb's muscle really does defy evolution. Amazing. <laughs>